Hello and welcome Taurus. This is your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, and if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Torians, we will look into uh, the into your life and we will sort of divide the area or, the, or the, the reading in sections. What we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of September 2023 for the very sign of Taurus. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's um, a love coming in, see if there's uh, something that can go, like, you know, uh, like pain that can be released, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2023. Now, before we start, I want you to remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. Shall we begin? Here we go, Torians. So, Taurus, the first thing I'm getting here before uh, uh, we're getting uh, the, the cards to speak, if that makes sense, is to understand that one of your imprints is to really look at family. Uh, it's, just, it's just what you do. <laughs> and um, this month you are being asked to be way more focused on yourself. The reason why this is, is because of the time of year. This is the month of September. September is the ninth month. Ninth is the month of completion, or ninth is the number of completion. So whatever hasn't been looked at um, and is not quite solved, has to be solved. Hence the number nine. The other thing is that we're moving into the time of autumn. Therefore, autumn is the time where things are naturally falling away that are no longer needed right it's the time where where the leaves fall off the tree from the trees all that kind of stuff so this is the time of letting go and i'm getting this strongly because one of your imprints is um to look at um family and i'm getting here for you to this month to prioritize yourself um okay i just need to quickly um stop the video obviously you you will hardly notice um because i can smell my cat Having done the number two, I'll be back. All done. Now remember, since there is no coincidence, maybe there's some shit that you have to remove from your life too, right? <laughs> anyway, um, where were we? So, yeah. You are asked to prioritize yourself this month and not prioritize family all that much. The reason why I'm saying all that much is because it is in your nature um, to, to look at, at your unit, if that makes sense. But you would also know this, that because you are so focused on them, they can be super, they can become super needy and boundaries are really needed, which is again the depiction of Taurus, right? You are the animal that sort of, you know, once you're in a field that belongs to Taurus, it's not going to be super easy for you to invade it. So this month you do need um, boundaries just to get that, um, to remember that. Now, what you're being asked anyway as the overall energy for the month of September 2023, you have the energy of yourself. <laughs> you have the energy of Taurus. And you have the number two because you are the second sign in the zodiac wheel. Now, what that really means is be yourself, hence prioritizing yourself. Right? And um, so when, when, the, when the, the card here says cultivate, it just means that you really should assert yourself. It's not that you're not assertive. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, again, it's a, it's a Taurus thing. <laughs> Can't talk. It's a Taurus thing. You are quite assertive, but sometimes you're doing it just to be safe, so you can be a bit vocal and a bit, right, like a, like a, like a bull in a china shop. But the point is, this month you're being asked to look after yourself first and look after yourself massively. When it comes to your emotional core. 
there's neither love coming in nor love going out. There's neither healing that needs to happen nor is there healing that doesn't need to happen. Now that sounds a bit weird. You have the energy of balance and therefore you have the energy of Libra's energy here. Um, when it comes to your emotions. So what you are striving for this month is balance. So Taurians, even if you should you go through difficult times, because balance is what you are looking at or need to look at uh, for you, your emotional um, energy to move forward in a good way, is to understand that the energy that, that we're being given here for you is Libra. Libra is depicted by an old-fashioned scale. And therefore, when it comes to finding balance, you always need a counterweight. So, of course, the universe will send you people that need to be redirected slightly, right? Bottom line here is, the energy, and I have to say this the way I feel this, remember this is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you and that's perfectly fine. My experience is that the people who need to hear these lessons or these messages will find the video. And the energy here is a tad heavy, which means you will probably be in a, in a place of really needing to make change rather than holding on to stuff. But because you have the balancing energy of Libra, in your emotional core for the month of September, they ask you not to be hasty in your decision making. Now, the good thing is that you have going for you is because we're in the month of September. September is the month when we're moving into autumn. Autumn is the time where where things that no longer de needed die off. You know, the leaves are falling from the trees. You know, uh, we're coming to an end of a cycle, which is why September is the ninth month. Ninth, ninth is the number of completion. So it's all connected in a good way because naturally we're coming to the end of cycles. So they're not asking you to hold on. They're just asking you not to be hastily, um, you know, breaking up with someone, hastily um, pushing things away instead of dealing with them and letting them go properly. Right? That was your emotional core. Now, interestingly enough, when it comes to opportunities, now is not the time for you to wait for opportunities to knock on the door. What you what you have is, um, you have the energy of transition. So, instead of looking at what else could I be doing, blah, 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 blah. it's about understanding, look at what is it I want to do, if you're lucky enough to already do what you want to do, there's still energy of transition here. Maybe there's something else you can do in that area, in that um, energy that you're working in, that you're doing your things in. But it is about understanding that the moment, the climate that you feel inside work or inside um, manifesting opportunities, the moment you feel like mm, this is a bit hostile, this doesn't quite flow, acknowledge it and do not revisit it at this point in time. There's always something else that can come when you actually realize what is and isn't for you. And you will realize it this month because you're prioritizing yourself. See what I mean? You're prioritizing yourself. Really, really important. Anyway, Taurians, Taurus, that's all we got. Um, you are watching Thomas's Tower readings with myself, Thomas Yanak. Like, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. See you next time.